In a Mac Xenon from her setup, the output of a light source is split into two beams and they travel different optical paths and then get recombined, generating interference fringes. This setup helps determine the relative phase shift between two collimated light beams. The principle of interferometry centers around the superposition of two or more waves, creating effective interference patterns. As shown in the animation, two laser beams travel in the same direction and they have identical amplitude but different frequencies and wavelengths. The superposition of these two waves leads to the generation of B-nodes, which is the lower dark blue uh, wave here. So the resulting waves we can see alternate in time between constructive and destructive interference and the associated wave, uh, wave expression is reproduced in this equation as you see in the slide here. One important aspect revealed from the formula and animation is that the B node, which corresponds to the amplitude envelope of the near waveform, occurs at the difference frequency between F1 and F2. This will be the guide for our subsequent interferometer measurement. Now let's take a more detailed look at our interferometer test setup. Here we have a schematic illustration. A dial laser at 1550 nanometer is split into two paths. Path one passes through an acoustic, optic, uh, acoustic optic modulator, and the AOM applies a frequency shift to the diffracted output beam as a function of the AOM drive frequency, and MOKU provides the RF drive signal to the AOM. On the other hand, path two travels through a polarization controller, which alters the polarization state of the light in path two. So the matched polarization states ensure a high contrast interference between the two arms. The two beams then recombine and pass through an adjustable attenuator to avoid saturating the flow detector. And the flow detector captures the, op the optical intensity of the B node uh, with its output routed to the input of MOKU. 